Hello YouTube, it's Bomberboy92 here again. And today I'm doing my review of the Bell AUG A3 RIS. Now, uh, of course, this is new and uh, it's just come out, it's been released by Bell, I think about two or three months back. And I didn't see any reviews on YouTube for it. And it's my first time doing a review, so go easy on me. Uh, I just want to let you guys know more about what this rifle is like. So, where do I start? It's not a bad rifle. For what I got, I paid $177 on a Tiger 111 HK. And uh, I'm pretty surprised when I first got it and lifted it out of the box. It's pretty heavy. It comes in a very simple box that I'm not going to bother to show you guys. It doesn't even come with a cleaning on jamming rod. It's just a rifle and a high cap magazine. Um, what I've added to it, I use a Magpul MS2 multi-mission sling. So that's pretty simple. I've got a three-point sling that just uh, the, the kind of loop that just goes around the, the receiver itself. So that just hooks on there. And uh, hangs pretty well. I can tighten it up if I need it to be higher. Otherwise, I just leave it pretty loose and it just hangs there. It doesn't really get in the way. And uh, pretty simple because I'm a lefty. Sometimes I have to shoot righty as well. So, you know, it doesn't get in the way too much. Not like a three-point sling. I've got a EOTech 5. Five, seven, I think, and that works pretty well with this gun. Just in case, I put MP7 flip-up sights from an old uh, busted MP7 of mine as backups. Um, the whole gun is metal except the plastic bits, uh, which is the receiver, obviously the magazine, and uh, the stuff that should be plastic is plastic. The stuff that should be metal is metal. The front flash hider is a counterclockwise 14 mm thread. You can put whatever silencer you want. I've tried it. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like with a Tokyo Mari uh, short silencer. The charging lever works, pulls back. Uh, the uh, hop up is down here, it adjusts pretty well. The only gripe I have about this gun is that, you know, the uh, accuracy is pretty crappy. So you might want to change the barrel, you might want to change the hop up and uh, the hop up bucking as well as the, uh, the chamber itself. Well, uh, the safety and select lever is very simple. It's just click in, that safety off. That's one round, and if you want fully automatic, pull through. And that's the rate of fire. It isn't very fast, I'm using a 7.4 volt uh, lithium polymer battery in here. And yeah, overall it's a pretty good gun. Um, anything else I want to say, if you want to take it down, it's very simple. You just push the spin out at the back here, whole lower receiver comes off. If you want to pull the barrel out, all you got to do is remove two allen keys up here. The whole RS unit just swaps right out and then the rest of it is like an AUG A2. Um, the little mushroom shaped button that's down here that releases the barrel, that kind of fell off the moment I removed it from the box. So what you want to do is when you get yours, um, either lock tight it in there or take it off and uh, keep it somewhere else. I simply, what I'll do is I just get it out, screw it back in and uh, I'll just pull the whole barrel up and that releases the hop up. Uh, and uh, the, it, there's the outer barrel as well. Remove two screws and you can pull the hole in the barrel out. Very simple. Very nice gun overall. I really like it. Uh, just the accuracy. And the rest of the gun is pretty well built actually. Doesn't wobble that much. Little bit of shaky sound, but that's mainly the sling. The front sling uh, swivel can be detached and reattached on the left or right side if you're using a two-point or three-point sling. Otherwise, for me, I think this is the safest way to do it. There was a rear sling attachment point here. Uh, I wouldn't trust it, it'll probably just bust out any moment as it is, there's already a crack there. I removed mine, just a simple e-clip, just pull it out and then take out the whole system. And uh, yeah, this is the best way to run it, I think, It's just to wrap, put a wrap around on the uh, around the lower receiver, clip it in on a single point sling and there you have it. Very simple, very easy to use, Bell AUG A3 RIS, thank you.